Hello guys, we are back in Tredegor, and today we're taking a look at this little viking house. The reason that this place exists is because I finally got around to making a road between Anchorage over there and this area here, which was previously only accessible by boat. So that area over there is where we have uh, the Rosewood Port, the Portal, and Sarneville way over there. So I'll show you, we have our little viking homestead here about halfway down the trail. So we have a little dock here. One of the really exciting things about 1.21, or one of the things that excited me, was that you can actually leash boats to uh, your little docks now. So I think it looks better because it doesn't look like it's about to float away. Uh, the other thing is that we have tough variants now. So previously we only had, sorry, we only had these big blocks of tough, but now we have slabs and stairs and bricks and all that good stuff. So I've decided to make a little dark aesthetic uh, Viking home. So I'll show you, coming on this road here, you'll see on your left some goats in a little goat pen. Uh, there's absolutely no grass here because goats eat grass like crazy quickly. Uh, these are not real goats, mind you, but these are basically uh, no AI mobs. So if you don't know, in Minecraft you can summon uh, you can summon like animals and villagers that don't have any kind of AI. Uh, and they just stand still, basically. Uh, they still make noises. Of course, as soon as I stop talking, they stop making noises. Okay. Yeah. Uh, on the other side here, we have just a little bit of a wheat patch that we could feed to our goats, basically. We're not really making any bread around here. We don't have like a, a windmill, but uh, yeah, just something to feed the goats when they're running out of grass in that little pen. Here we have a building. It's made out of tough moss and mangrove wood. So I really like the aesthetic that we got here. It's dark. It's a little bit... Um, it's a little bit of a simple build, uh, you know, it's like basically just a simple triangle shape, but because these blocks are very high in uh, their visual difference, uh, as in they all have very like busy textures visually, uh, I'll show you. So something like this compared to, uh, where is it, bedrock. So I'll show you what I mean. This is a pretty simplistic texture. You only have about five colors and they're all kind of in a gradient. Whereas this, super busy. You have tons of white and black right next to each other. It's kind of a mess to look at. So by using a bit busier blocks, we can make this build look more complicated than it is. If we actually come inside here, we'll see that there is a fire pit in the middle and that's the center of this, uh, this kind of whole homestead is the fire. Because if the fire goes out, we all freeze to death. <laughs> Uh, we got a couple of beds here, got a lot of firewood, we're smoking some fish from these chains. Uh, got a little chest here, nothing in it unfortunately. Uh, here we have a brown stained glass pane, I'll explain what that is in a minute. And then lastly we just have a little table here. And you can see that the smoke exit at the top so that we don't uh, choke on carbon monoxide. <laughs> So the reason that I'm using brown stained glass is because, uh, I don't know if this was the same in Europe, but I know that in the colonial Americas, uh, when they didn't have glass, either because they couldn't afford it or they couldn't get it shipped over, they would take uh, animal skins, like deer skins, and they would basically scrape all the meat, all the fat, all the hair off. You'd be left with like this kind of thin, uh, papery, textured uh, skin. Then you could slather like oil on it or like fat and grease and it would be pretty transparent, so it would let in light without letting in uh, like the wind and the rain and stuff. So yeah, that's our little like animal skin window. Uh, I really like this place. It's a cool little stopover on the road. The only other things we have on this road, I built a small little standing stone area. And over here, uh, we just have a little bit of a ruined uh, house almost, or some kind of arch. So yeah, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and uh, I will be keeping you updated with more Regensburg type stuff in the coming days.